Welcome to the Man United stream. Hope you're doing well, everybody. And this is a hard, hard show for me to do because I've just seen the game 3 3 away from home, Galatasaray. Who would have thought that United are going to throw away such a commanding lead? I mean, it was just an amazing game going forward, but what happened to Onana is just absolute. Shocking, 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 shocking. I couldn't believe my eyes. Watching Onana was like having no goalkeeper in today's game. It was just horrendous watching them play. I didn't understand what Onana was doing when he was trying trying to set up his wall for the free kicks that were being taken. Why was he not putting trust in his defence? What was going on? Every time Galatasaray took a shot, it looked like they were going to score. For all our attacking flair and the goals that we scored, Garnacho, Bruno Fernandes and even McTominay, the goals were amazing, great goals and it just looked like Man United were in control all the way through the game. But every time the ball went towards our goal and it went towards Onana, he was just flapping it. I mean, Onana needs to be dropped. We do need to bring in another goalkeeper and see what another goalkeeper can do because Altai Bendia, we've been saying it for months. We've been saying it since we signed him. Where the hell is Altai Bendia? Why haven't they been playing him? Why haven't we seen him play? Why are we not exploring a second option? Because Onana clearly is not good enough for this level of gameplay we have seen him dis absolutely be destroyed in the Champions League he's conceded about 14 goals in the Champions League and some of the games we've lost are well yesterday's game was definitely down to the Onana mistakes if Onana if we had any other goalkeeper in there we would have gone through quite easily we would have actually won that game we were 3 one ahead at one point just coasting second half they should not have come back into the game the two goals even that um, third goal that they um, Galatasaray scored should not have been going in from that distance Onana should have been saving that it should not have been going in last night was the epitome of losing a game throwing it away throwing a game away last night was that's what it was I mean I'm so frustrated I can't even speak Speak. I mean, this was going to be a short video just going through last night's game, and well, we've made it an uphill struggle. I think we're going to very, very, we're, going to, we're not going to qualify. We, we, it's unlikely we're going to qualify. It's very, very unlikely. We've got Bayern Munich to play, and even if we win Bayern Munich, it's still unlikely that we will get through. We've thrown it away ourselves. We don't deserve to be in the second round of the Champions League, playing the way we've done, what we've done has just been dismal dismal in the Champions League and no team should get away with it whether it's Man United or Real Madrid or wherever it is that is not good enough from Man United and we need to go back to the drawing board and see what the hell has gone wrong for, for us it's quite simple we've been watching the games in the Champions League and Onana is not good enough at that level he has made too too many mistakes and it has led to us losing points losing games and last night losing that win last night we could have quite easily coasted to an easy 3-1 win no way even Galatasaray looked surprised for having scored them goals did you see Hakim Ziyech's face every time he scored he was shocked the first half free kick should not have been going in he should not have have gone to the other side where the wall was he should have stayed exactly where he was it just did not make any sense and the second goal again free kick should not have been going in should not ever be going in it's absolute shocking shocking goalkeeping let us know what you thought of the game drop your comments below let us know what you thought about Onana's performance make sure you hit the like button on this video make sure you subscribe you are watching the Man United streamer channel by the fans for the fans